Hey guys, how's it going? It is General Heat here again. And today we're going to be revisiting the secret crash pelican on the Ark. So it's not really like a huge secret actually, but there's a few interesting things about it that uh, no other pelican that you find has. So it's basically right here at the beginning of the Ark. When you first get the vehicles, if you drive over here, up there on the cliff, you can see a crashed pelican. It's also like completely destroyed too. Uh, but you know, it's just sitting up there. Some debris, of, debris from it is down here. But other than that, like you know, usually you just drive by it and you don't really think anything else of it. Well, one interesting thing about it is well, actually, just a few interesting things about it. But unlike other crashed pelicans that you see, it is actually like a movable object. It's not like part of the scenery. It's actually like, you know, uh, it's actually very similar to the to a phantom when you blow it up, all the uh, the chunks that come down the debris. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as that. However, um, in Halo 3, just, you really don't have any chance to actually destroy a pelican. So, it's pretty interesting that there's actually like a destroyed model for a pelican that you can uh, you can actually move around and stuff because there's no way to destroy a pelican in Halo 3. Every pelican you encounter in Halo 3 is completely uh, indestructible uh, unless it's like scripted to be uh, to explode but even when it's like scripted to explode it kind of just flies out of the map and disappears uh, and when you do find like crash pelicans they're usually part of the scenery and you know you can't move them at all so that's what's interesting about it, and we can you can probably like push it down or get up there earlier in the mission, uh, but we're going to get there the long way uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, a, it's more fun to use the time travel glitch to get up there, and B, there's something that we've been experimenting with trying to get it to work that you do need to use this glitch to do. So, kind of like getting sidetracked here, but. First, you need to grab a uh, grav lift, which we just did back there, and then you need to use a chopper, and then drive up here, drive over this rock, and once you get over it, just keep going up, and basically what we're doing is to get out of the map. So once you hit the barrier up here, head left, and just keep going left here until you get past the barrier, right about here. And once we're up here, just squeeze through this. I mean, you can just get out the chopper at this point. You don't have to drive it because we're about to get out soon anyways. But just once you get over here, just hop out and just keep going. So we're going to speed it up here because it's kind of a bit of a long walk. Uh, but, yeah, we'll just get there faster this way. So, anyways, back to the uh, the pelican. Like I said... You can't destroy a pelican in Halo 3 in gameplay, and there's no other uh, crash pelican that you can actually move around as well. So my theory is that, and it's a very likely one, but at one point in Halo 3, uh, I bet Bungie was planning to have like destructible pelicans, just like how phantoms are destructible. But for whatever reason, they cut that out, except for that one model over there. But because you know, when you when you blow up a pelican or when you blow up a phantom, it its model is replaced by the uh, destroyed pieces. And I'm guessing the same thing was supposed to uh, exist with the pelican, but it just never made it to the final game. Uh, but that destroyed carcass of the uh, pelican is still up there on the cliff, though, and that's the only one in the entire Halo game that you can effect. But anyways, once you get up here, you do want to stand on your friend's head and use a grab lift to uh, boost yourself up here. And you want to jump down here. And you want to be very careful here. Stay on this ledge here and make sure you don't fall off either. Don't go too far to the left because if you do, you'll hit the time travel point. And you do not want to do that. You want to stand a little bit far back and have your friend hit it because they'll be the sacrifice while you'll make it through unharmed. But they'll be stuck in the uh, Twilight Sun or whatever, the Hall of Mirrors. Another interesting thing here is, you saw it very briefly there, but a pelican actually spawned over here and it flew into the solid space here, or 
the Twilight Zone, as I like to call it. I know it's not actually that, but... The Pelican flew into the uh, solid space, and it's actually heading towards where it would if when you destroy the Scarab. But what I found interesting about this is... I was surprised that the Pelican actually spawned on this side of the map. Um, and then flew into there. It's just, I, I figured it would spawn... Um, that basically means that when we're on the other side during uh, the Scarab battle, that means the Pelican kind of spawns in solid space and flies out into the loaded area of the map. But it's just a little interesting thing. Anyways, once we've walked about this distance, your friend should spawn out here. I mean, you don't have to save your friend, <laughs> but you know it's not really nice to leave them stuck in there. <laughs> just get them out. You Actually, you do need to get them out because you'll need their help. There's still use for them. <laughs> Anyways, just head back here until you get to that very corner. Now, while we head back, uh, you know what that means. <laughs> it's pun time. So, the other day, I tried to catch some fog. I missed. <laughs> so, um, I've been told that you should never marry a tennis player. And you know why? It's because love means nothing to them. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, um, now that we're here in the corner, we're going to do the elevator glitch. To do that, have your friend stand in a 90 degree corner like so, and keep walking forward while constantly, rapidly tapping their jump button. And that'll elevate you up. Uh, sometimes they'll make it too, if they do it fast enough, but as long as you get up, they can just blow themselves up and then spawn with you. So, once we're up here, just want to keep heading forward. Now, I should mention at the very start, um, you don't have to start at mission start like I did. You can probably start from the second rally point, but I like to start from mission start because you'll have more vehicles available like choppers to uh, help you uh, push the pelican around later, but it's not necessary, but that's just one helpful thing. And also, if you start from mission start, the uh, frigate stays here, actually, after you do the time travel glitch, which is kind of cool. Uh, normally, yeah, if you start from the second rally point and you, and you do this time travel glitch, the frigate actually despawns. And I actually don't know why that difference exists, but that's just the way it is. Now, once we're over here, you want to take the right path. If you take the left path, that's a big no-no. So, stay on the right path and just follow, follow the yellow brick road, basically. <laughs> Alright, so once we're up ahead, um, you'll see it deloads here, uh, but just keep going. You want to stay like as far left as you can on this path. Basically just follow the exact path I am, because if you're a little bit too close to the right side, you'll kind of get caught in a barrier, uh, and then you'll get stuck and won't be able to make it to the pelican. So just basically follow my path, but the farther to the left you stay, the better, uh, for sure. All right, we're almost at the pelican now. So, I was learning to collect trash the other day. Uh, but you know what? It wasn't that hard. I just picked it up as I went along. <laughs> All right, <laughs> anyways, no more puns for the rest of this video. Three is enough. So now that we're here, um, you could just... You know, use your explosive weapons to uh, knock the pelican down. Grenades should be enough, but if you have rockets, that definitely helps. Uh, but you don't really, like like I said at the beginning, you don't actually have to do this whole long glitch to get up here to knock it down. You could throw grenades from the ground up to here to push it down and just keep, you know, respawning yourself to get more grenades. And that'll knock it down too. But like I said, it's more fun to do this glitch because I you know I love the time travel glitch. It's <laughs> I've been doing it on my channel for like almost a decade now. But there's something else. Uh, there's, like I said, there's another reason why. Uh, I didn't show you. You won't see the entire reason why in this video because we actually did not succeed with it. But we're hoping uh, once we tell you guys what it is, uh, other people will try and hopefully succeed. But basically, at this point. 
you want to like push the pelican so that it's kind of like in a more little op more open area. But aside from that, and using the chopper is really easy to push it, especially if you use the uh, guns. It actually does have quite a bit of force. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to have at least one deployable cover and one grab lift. I think you might be able to figure out what this is going, but in Halo 3, uh, especially in multiplayer like custom games and Forge, if like inside like an open crate or open container in Forge, if you throw a deployable cover down inside that open container and then you throw a uh, grav lift down right under it, it will push the deployable cover up and keep pushing the entire uh, container up. I believe this trick was, there were so many videos of it back in the day, but I think people called it the Omega Blimp vehicle or whatever in Halo 3. I don't know, but basically it just makes the crate fly. So as you just saw there, Helios Grow here, he just went inside and threw a deployable cover. This is this is actually interesting because there's actually a glitch to um, cause a pelican to crash. You just need to go inside the back of it and throw the deployable cover into like the cockpit area, and that causes it to like spaz out and crash into the ground. But what's really interesting with this destroyed carcass is that if you do it inside the destroyed pelican, that glitch that causes it to kind of spaz out still happens, and it causes it to flip over, which I found to be really interesting, and that's why I wanted to try it with the grav lift. To throw the deployable cover inside and throw a grab lift at the same time, in the hopes that we could actually fly this crashed pelican. So you know we're gonna keep trying um, eventually. But if you guys want to try it out and let us know if you get better results, some people might be better at it than us. Uh, but if you do get any good results, if you actually manage to fly <laughs> the destroyed pelican, uh, do please let us know, and we we may even like ask for your help and feature you in a video about that. Cause that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so that's basically it to the Secret Crash Pelican on the Ark. Uh, I hope you guys found this video to be very interesting. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.